How you doing guys, this is Charlie with HK Truck Center. Today we're gonna to be going through a quick overview of a pre-trip inspection, which should be done every day on commercial vehicles. We're not gonna do a full half hour pre-trip, but we're gonna give you a quick overview of some of the things you should be checking uh, as a commercial driver in a commercial vehicle. Um, we're basically going through safe operations of the vehicle. So you're checking tires, brakes, fluids, lights. I got the lights on here. So you gotta make sure all of that's working. Um, if you have a second set of hands, that'll make checking your reverse lights and brake lights easier, but you could also back it up to a building, use some cardboard, whatever have you. So first things first, we're gonna check all our lights. I know the headlights work, I know all that works. We've got our markers on the cab working, got our mirror lights working, all of our box lights. They should be yellow at the front and red towards the rear. So the rearmost lights will be red. Same with your running lights, brake lights, etc. cetera. Um, we're gonna check our tires. Tires should be worn evenly. Fronts or steers need to be above 430 seconds. Rears need to be above 230 seconds. You're looking for any gashes in the sidewalls, any kind of defects like that. You're gonna be checking lug nuts for any loose, elongated holes, damaged studs, anything along those lines. Fluid leaks from your hubcap. These are filled with oil. 99% of them are oil, some are grease, but you're gonna be looking for fluid leaks from your hubcaps. Okay, we've gotta check engine oil, power steering fluid, coolant, trans fluid. Um, quick check is to look underneath the truck. If it's dripping, you gotta fix it. Um, power steering fluid on the truck is over here. It's got a fancy little cover. Um, you're going to be checking for any fluid leaks up here. You're going to be listening for any air leaks, whether it be from your valves, your brake chambers, any of the lines. This truck is a 2021. It's very new, very fresh. Uh, it's in good shape. We just went through it. So we don't have any air leaks, but if you do, you got to bring that to your fleet advisor or service manager, whoever's attention and have them get that repaired for you. Um, so we're good up here, we've got no leaks. We see our fuel filter's low, it's not over full, it's not gonna clog up on us, we're good there. We have to check steering components. So we've got our steering shaft, that's greased. My hands are clean, I'm not gonna grab it and shake it, but you're looking for play there. We've got our steering box, nice and dry. We've got our pitman arm, nice and tight. Drag link, nice and tight. We've got our tie rod end, that, that's on the back here, a little hard for you to see, but our tie rod end is good. We don't see anything loose. We don't see any torn boots, leaking grease. That's all nice. We can move back. Battery cover secured. Fuel tank, cap is good. We have no leaks underneath. As we move towards the back, we're listening for air leaks. We've got none. That's a beautiful thing. We're gonna take a look at our rear tires. Those are beautiful. We'll take a look at our suspension back here. We've got no leaking shocks. We've got no audible leaks. Everything is tight, secured properly. That's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Airbags look good, no dry rot, no cracking. All of our body panels are secure. Nothing is loose. The truck being safe to drive down the road is one part of it, but you also have to make sure you can get in and out of it safely, right? Safe loading is very important. As the person operating, operating the truck, you don't want to be falling off the back of it getting hurt as much as the company doesn't want you falling off the back of it getting hurt. We're going to grab our grab handles and grab our door handles. We're going to check for loose doors. That one's okay. We're going to check our lights. License plate light works. We have a white light there. Tail lights working. Come around the other side. Another grab handle. Another step. Door handles are good. Check our right rear tires. Those look good. Nothing crazy. You should be checking pressures with a gauge. I'm not going to do that now because we're not going crazy, but inner's good. Outer's good. No leaks. Our drive shaft looks good. Brake chamber back here looks good. We have no worn spring bushings. 
you're going to be checking U-bolts, you're going to be checking suspension completely for anything broke, loose, and not properly secured. Okay? We've got good doors, everything's nice and tight. Another grab handle, nice and tight. Clip securing this step. Mirrors. In good shape, tight, not broken. Back around to our left front tire, worn evenly. No gashes in our sidewall. Everything with the hub looks good. All the suspension up here looks good, and we still don't hear any leaks. Another thing you're gonna check is your washer fluid. You can't clean your windshield, can't see. That's no good, we wanna be able to see while we're driving. It's important. So everything on this truck, with a quick inspection, looks very good. Like I said, guys, this was a quick overview of what a pre-trip could be. You should spend 15 minutes to a half hour doing a proper pre-trip, um, but there are forms available online. Some of them come with your fleet management softwares, JJ Keller, what have you. Um, if you need any help with this stuff, we'll help as much as we can. Just give us a call and have a great day.